Let's talk about the board challenges. We're going to see what's going on, why these uh, snippets don't uh, do what we expect, and this will be a good opportunity to explore few uh, advanced uh, functionalities of uh, DevTools. I'm more specifically talking about debugging. So this is not going to work, so we'll use, we'll add breakpoints to inspect the variables and to try to understand why it doesn't work, right? Some of you gave the right answer here, right? So I think there is a common understanding about how to fix it, but still, well, let's start from the beginning. So, first of all, what's the goal here? So we have a function called update positions. So essentially, we want to iterate over an array of players and then we do whatever, so there is some, some, some hidden code here, we don't care about what's going on, but eventually what we want to do is, at the end, once all the players have been processed, we want to invoke this function. This is a callback function, right? You see here. So eventually we want to display the, that console log, right? Because this variable is the second argument of the update position function, which is here. You get that? Easy, right? Okay, cool. So first of all, what happened if we run the snippet? How many times this console log will be printed at the bottom? One. So Jim is suggesting that if we add a breakpoint, you see how to add a breakpoint, right? It's as simple as clicking on the land number. So if we add a breakpoint, it will stop once on line number seven. Let's see if that's true or not. No, never happened. The done function is never executed, never ever. Why? Mm -hmm. the count is equal to zero. Correct. And then for each um, player that length is, yeah. in this case, two, yeah. the count is not equal to two. That's correct. That's correct. So let's do something. Let's add another breakpoint on line number six to evaluate what happened in this condition because this condition is never met, right? So let's run the example again. We stop, you see, line number six. So now, we can either inspect the value of the variables looking at the right hand side, or we can simply hover over, you see, count is zero, players.length is two. So on the first iteration, this condition is clearly falsy, right? Zero is not the same as two. No problem at all, no problem at all. Let's resume the script. You see, you can press uh, F8 on your keyboard, and it will Run the next iteration. What's um, it says player on the uh, scope. Yeah. The local, um, yeah. What's this? Yeah, that's a good question. That's a really good question. So every time you have a function, right, and this is a function, an arrow function, this is a scope, the current or the local scope, local to where the breakpoint is. But then JavaScript has access to the current scope and also to any parent scope. So this is the parent scope, the closure, you see? The parent closure, yeah. right? That's why we can still access the count. Count is not part of this function, but this declared on a, on a parent function, right? This undefined. Yeah. Is this, this yeah. function where inside? No, this is the this object. We'll do a workshop to explain what the this object is, but don't worry about the this for the time being. So count, next iteration is one, and then place of the length is two. So what will happen next? If I resume the script, will it stop again on line number six? No, no why not? Correct, Victor is right. We got two elements. So now we are processing the last one, so players should be equal to what? Yeah. 
No, now, what's the value of player? Peter, correct. Look, he's there, right? Because he's the last player on the list, right? So if we resume the script, nothing else will happen. That's it. So then you tell me, how do we fix the problem using the count variable? Sorry? I started at one. We could start at one. I'm not against that. Yes, we could do that. Let's see if that works, right? So if we start at one. So now, will it stop on line number seven? Yeah, no. Why yes, why no? Correct. And count? Count is never going to equal two. Do you agree on that? You didn't disagree. Can you convince Victor or vice versa? Why, why is it going to increment? Why does that X Correct. So we agree on that, right? So now the DOM function should be executed. Boom. You see? Why? Because on the second iteration, player equals Peter, count equals two, two equals two. Right? You see why breakpoints are so useful? Correct. Can you see the first iteration? Well, it depends. If we put the breakpoint outside, like line number six, yes. Look, done. You see? So let's let's play it again. So now this is the first iteration. Tom. So count is one, play is the length is two, play it is young. So if we keep going, second iteration, count is two, play is the length is two, it could go to jump to line number seven, correct, it will display the dawn message. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yep. It doesn't work on the first iteration. Well, on the first iteration, definitely, it's not running the DOM. So DOM is executed at the end of the second iteration, of the last one. Why? It says DOM because after the second iteration, we execute the DOM function, which is here. Make sense? Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. So you see individual iteration. If you run it again, this is the first iteration. Well, this is not returning anything. So yeah, there is nothing being returned. So yeah, you can think that this is undefined. After, oops, sorry, I run it again. So let me close that. Ah, oh, I close it. Sorry about that. Let me open again. Here we go. Yeah. So after at the end of the second of the first iteration, we do nothing. We just increment the counter, and oh, during the second iteration, at least we do a console log, right? That's the difference. Any question? No. Okay. Yeah, we can discuss about that. Maybe count equals one is not a good solution. So how would you fix it with count equals to zero? I want to initialize count to zero. What do we have to change here to solve the problem? Please don't let minus one. Okay. Yeah. Will it work? Yeah. Correct. It works. What about incrementing the counter before?
Will it work? Does anything, does anyone think this, this wouldn't work? Yeah. Right, so this will work, right, Victor? Yeah. Correct. It works. Let's have a breakpoint to verify. It works, right? And we will, they have done messages. And if we want to simplify even further, can we do that? Will this work? Eugene is smiling. So he thinks it will work. Okay, okay, fair enough. So let's see. Let's see what happened. It doesn't. It doesn't. But let me change the example again, and then we'll recap. Will it work now? This is what we're going to explain now. So Tom has an idea? OK, cool. So let's see if it works, and then let's talk about it. Look, it works now. It works now. What's the difference? This is very important. And this is not just about JavaScript. This applies to most of the programming languages. So when you do variable, which is supposed to be a number plus plus, that means, A, do whatever you have to do in this line, and after the line is executed afterwards, then increment the value of the counter afterwards. However, if you put it, if you prefix the plus plus, you put it in front, it's on the other way around. Here we said, A, before going any farther, the first thing you have to do here is please increment the value of the counter and then compare it against players of length. You see the difference? So why it doesn't work here? Because on the first iteration, exactly, we're comparing zero against two. On the second iteration, what are we comparing? One against two, correct. In a, in a, in a four if you do, if you want to start from, let's say, if you set i equal to zero, mm -hmm. but you want to start from one, you do the prefix plus plus, yeah. and then it will only run to the length, and you do the Yeah, yeah, yeah. correct. Yeah, you can do that as well, definitely. Right? So this doesn't work. But how if we put it in front? So what are we comparing on the first iteration? One against two. And on the second? Two against two, that's why it works, right? So this is the difference between doing I plus plus or plus plus I. That's a good point. Probably, I, I never, to be honest, I've never done that. No, no, you can't, look, it's an error, right? This is, this is a bit optimistic. Cool, so that will work, but then the last question is, A, I don't want to use the count variable. This is totally unnecessary. So how do we fix the problem without creating a, a new count variable? For each, can you tell me the arguments that for each receives? What's the first one? Correct. What's the second one? No, it's the same as map and the index, correct, correct, the index. So then you tell me how we fix it. Like that? Player bracket index. No, 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 no. <laughs> right, so will this work or not? And why? 
Sorry? So I think Marta is right. What's the first value of the index? Correct. What's the second value of the index? Will it work? No. Look. First iteration, index zero. Second iteration, index one. That's it. So how do we fix it? Well, we shouldn't change the index because the index is provided by JavaScript automatically. Correct. Marta is right. Right? Easy, right? So now, if we have a breakpoint on line number six, boom. It works. Any question? Well, I don't necessarily agree. If you want to access the last element of, of an array, you have to use it, right? Yeah. It, it is elegant because if we have a new player here called uh, Marta, will it work or not? It will work, right? It's elegant because we don't care how many players do we have. The done function function will be always executed at the end, which is what we want. It doesn't break. Okay? Right? So obviously if you do if you do that, as someone suggested yesterday in the meetup, this is not that elegant, right? Because this highly depends on how many elements our array has. Don't get me wrong, it will work in this example, but as soon as we at uh, Osman, it will fail, right? We agree on that. That's why, please, do it on the other way around. Players of length minus one. Any question? That was easy, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's do something more difficult. Intermediate. <laughs> Fair to say that no one has provided a decent answer here. And the first thing is that probably no one has tried to do that, right? Because if you create a snippet, well, I know Eugene did it, but he left it probably in, a, in the middle, right? So he didn't got any conclusion. So look at what they've done. So this example is, is, is similar, right? It's similar in some, in some aspect. I got the counter here. We are adding, we are increasing the counter before. So in that respect, that should be fine. That should be fine. Then we do the same thing, we invoke the same function. So it's the same, it's literally the same thing. The only difference, the only difference is before checking if we are done, we're invoking a function update database, which is a, a this is a dark method, this is a black box. We don't know what the method is doing. Well, we know because it's at the bottom, but you can figure out that this is doing a request to an external API to the database, whatever. So it, it, it may take a while, it may take one second, two seconds to complete. And the API of the method says that once the method is done, it will execute the callback function. So it will run this code. That means that the player has been updated, right? We understand the, 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 the concept? Right, so how many times, I got rid of the breakpoints, how many times the done function will be executed. Zero, one, two, three, infinite, error. You in? Okay, so you in set zero. Wrong. So Tom said once. Wrong. So Jean 
say it twice. And Marta also twice. This is because that's the only other possibility, right? Right. So you are right. But by luck. So <laughs> invalid. Invalid answer, right? Because you cannot defend. Why? I prefer you to keep a wrong answer, but at least try to argue. Right? Because you, you okay, you accidentally said two because it's not zero or one, but this is not valuable, right? So technically speaking, you're right, and let's prove it. So the down message should happen twice. You see? Right. I'll explain why it happens twice. The reason why it happens twice is before explaining it, let's add some breakpoints. And now let's do let's do a, an exercise that I, I love to do from time to time. So I'm going to add some breakpoints. For example, line number six, line number seven, and line number twelve. So you are going to tell me the execution order. For example, I think that the execution order will be 6, 7, 6, 7, 12, 12. You know what I want to do, right? It's, it's, this doesn't necessarily have to be true, or maybe it is. I don't know. So, right. There is uh, one extra point in this board challenge for whoever gave me the right answer. So the, I'm going to run the snippet. It will stop several times. <laughs> so you tell me that the, the bus stops, right? It doesn't necessarily have to stop in all the breakpoints. It could stop multiple times on each breakpoint. I don't know. Okay. Um, Come on, Victor, you start. Uh, an update database. Um, Nine numbers. Uh, okay, I'm six. Six. Uh, twice. Twice. Uh, seven. Seven. Twice. Seven once or twice? Twice. twice. And uh, console log once. So console log uh, once, so 12. 12. Yeah. Once, like that. Yeah. OK. OK, so Victor said that, right? Wrong. Next one, Tom. There are two points for the first one giving me the right combination. <laughs> yeah, that, that's true. No, one point, not two. It's unfair. Yeah. Tom, try something. Think about something. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. If I run it. Well, a breakpoint stops. Well, that's a, that's a very fundamental question, right? That's what we've done up until now. So, breakpoint will. Pause will stop the execution, will freeze the execution, so you can analyze the value of the variables, and you can see where the, where the execution is, in which line. Wait, are you going to run it? Of course I'm going to run it. Only once? Are you going to run it once? I'm going to run it once. Oh, then it's only going to stop once, at, at six, right? I don't know. Oh, well, yeah. I'm going to press this button no, yeah. once. Wait, yeah, it does. It, it stops. It will stop at six, and you analyze six. And then what? And then, well, if you run it, if you step into it again. I'm going to, oh, oh, I mean, I'm going to run it once, but once it, it stops, I'll resume. So I keep, ah, okay. right, I'll until. Start, I'll, well, it's wrong anyway. But I'll okay, start. right. So Tom. Six. Seven. Twelve. And that's it? Yeah. Okay. No, wrong. <laughs> Marta. Seven. And then what? Again, seven. And then what? Seven again? No. no. <laughs> Too many times, right? Maybe. Yes. <laughs> Six. Six. Twelve. Why not? Right? Why not? Wrong. Radically wrong, wrong, wrong. Just... Right. This is a classic uh, question on a job interview, right? What you need to understand. When you do, when you do the, the, the board challenge, 
with your finger, you are pointing to the algorithm. So this is what they want you to point, right? The execution order. What we go first, then what's the next step? Blah, 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 blah. Uh, Osman, you're very quiet, eh? I know you, I, I'm sure you have the right answer. So you tell me. No clue? I mean. All right. Anyone else? No, no, too late, Victor. You had your chance. So Chandon, you, Jean, Alex, any clue? Right. I think you are all wrong. And I'm going to <laughs> I give you my 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 idea. And I may be wrong as well, in which case I'll, I'll probably stop the video and we'll record it again, right? Because <laughs> this is not a good thing for the bootcamp. Well, what I think it will happen is it will stop on line number six. Absolutely, for sure. I don't know why Marta decided that the first line was number seven. That doesn't make sense to me. So first is line number six. Then, then it will jump to line number 12. This is what everybody missed. After number 12, we'll start the second iteration. So we'll run number six again. We'll run number 12 again. And then we'll run seven and seven. No, you were not. <laughs> so why? Let me explain my theory, and then we'll verify if I'm right or not. So, I mean, from top, line number six, this is for sure the first one. No question. That's the first one. So then you may think that, hey, why number seven doesn't go next? Because this is asynchronous. This is a very important concept in JavaScript, asynchronous. It will take 300 milliseconds to render, to execute. JavaScript is not going to be waiting 300 milliseconds. It will ignore that. I say, OK, do whatever you want. Take your time. No problem. I keep going down. So what's the first thing after this block? The console log. So that will happen next. Iteration number one. Then immediately, we go to iteration number one to process the second element of the array, Peter. So again, line number six. Here you go. And then, again, the same thing, right? We've got a callback function, 300 milliseconds, like, yeah, take your time. I'm not going to wait for you, because JavaScript is asynchronous by nature. So it's not going to, to block the execution because we have a callback function. So callback functions are asynchronous, by definition, in this, in this type of exercises. So then, after line number six on the second iteration, again, it will go to line number 12. And that will be it for now. But then, after 300 milliseconds, it will say, hey, wait, 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 wait a minute. I'm back. I'm not done yet. I'm now invoking this callback function. So please render, execute that method belonging to which iteration, the first one or the second? The first, correct, correct. And then, probably immediately after, we'll run the second iteration that was still pending to be triggered. So let's see if that's correct. Let's run it. Cool. <laughs> line number six, right? So line number six means that Marta is discarded. So we still got the big turtle and, and me, right? Line number six. And then I, I think it will jump to line number 12. Here you go. You see? It's not running line number seven, right? So, right. It's just me. <laughs> Line number 12. So now it should go back, because this is still the first iteration. How do we know it? What's the value of player? John. It's John, right? John is the first player. Index is equals to zero. Correct. No problem. No problem. Because we're still in the middle of the loop. We'll go again to line number six. Correct. Right? And then this is iteration number two player is Peter. And then, again, we have a callback function. JavaScript will ignore it. So it will go to line number 12, again. Right? And now after 300 milliseconds, it will happen quickly. But maybe you notice. Wait, wait, wait. Boom. You see? I can increase the, the, the timer if you want. After 300 milliseconds, and the reason why it didn't happen earlier is because every time we stop the execution, the, the timer is not running. This is like basket, right? If you're not playing, the, the time is, is freezing. It's frozen, right? Cool. So after 300 milliseconds, now we, we, do, we run the first callback. We run the first callback. 
and then we will run again, look, the second callback. You see, we got the first done, and then eventually we'll have the second done. So now, because we already understood the execution flow, you have it at the bottom, can you tell me why the done function is executed twice? Because what, sorry? Yes. Yeah. The so then what? So the count goes uh, up to one. Yeah. Before the first if is executed. Yeah. And then so count, so one will equal third up now, which is two. Um, oh, no, it doesn't. Uh, so what's the value of the count variable? Oh, I know. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know, because count. Plus plus runs before update database. Yeah. And then the if doesn't run on that iteration, it goes back down. And then so after the uh, console log runs, it goes back to um, the six. Yep. No, yeah, the six. And then count has run again. So. So what's the value of count? Two. It's, no. Uh, yeah, two. So Victor is right. Victor got it. That's exactly it. So the first time line number seven runs, the value of count, even if that callback belongs to the first iteration, what's the value of the count variable? After the first iteration? The first time, the first, the first time this block line number seven runs, it's two, it's two already, yes. And it runs twice straight away. So correct, so correct, runs. look. In here, first of all, now count is one, which is what we want, right? is what we want, but we keep going. So then we go back again, again to line number six before the if has ever run. So now what's the value of the count variable? It's true already. We have incremented it, right? It's true already. Because it's already true. So what happened here? Once we run the callback the first time, count equals to two. I don't know, I feel like I need to throw this out. Like, um, I get it, it's because of the first iteration, but it's okay to pass um, a copy of the life right now. Mm -hmm. So, how do we solve the problem? We don't want to run the done function twice, we want to run it just once. Yes, yes, you can, you can speak louder because this is correct. Uh, I don't know, but it's the count inside the update database. Exactly, exactly. Look, instead of increasing the counter here, yes, just put it inside of the update database method. Right? So now, we'll increase the counter just when we run this code. So let's try again. So how many times the down function will run now? One. That's correct. It should run one. Let's prove, let's try, let's try to see if that's correct. So now you will tell me again the execution order. We have four breakpoints. And this is the last question of the day. So, you. Five. Twelve. Seven. Then it's eight. Like that? Wrong. Yin. Five. Twelve. Five, seven, eight, wrong. Alex. Use version. 
So even if it's wrong, you okay, that's fine. Mr. CK. Say it again. Twelve. No, five. Twelve. Five. Twelve. Wrong. Right. So we got uh, Marta, Osman, Victor, Tom. Is anyone else? Right. There are two point five points extra on the board challenge. Right, this is the rank that the companies love to see to decide who is going to get high first, right? So 2.5 points. Okay, Victor, you try. Where is Victor? Here. Five, Wrong. No, too late. You have to think about that, right? So we, Marta, Osman, Tom, two and a half points. Marta. Five, twelve. Seven, eight. <laughs> Wrong. Osman? Five, Yep. Five, seven, twelve. Whatever. That's wrong as well. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Tom, it's your last chance. Five, twelve. Back to five. Seven. Eight. Yeah, that's that's wrong already, right? Seven runs twice. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So. All right. So everyone has failed, right? So now I'll give you another chance, and I'm not going to ask everyone. So if anyone wants to participate, one and a half points. <laughs> okay, let's go, let's go. So you. I think so five. Five. And then it goes to... <laughs> well, you got it, and then you think... I mean, wait, 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 <laughs> wait, right, time out. No, Victor. Five, then it goes to 12. 12. And then it goes to seven. Five, 12. Seven. <laughs> and then it goes that's that's, that's wrong. That's that's wrong already. Five, twelve. I don't know. I don't know. I know. And seven, seven executes twice. I don't know. Well, you tell me. You tell me. No, so no, I'm just I'm just thinking out loud. Okay. Eight executes once. So and I think I know the last bit. I think there's seven, seven, eight at the end. But I don't. Know. Come on, Victor. Try it. So, five, who's talking? Alex? Five, Wait a minute, Alex is talking first. No, Alex doesn't know. So, wait a minute. Five, seven, se wrong. Victor. We trust you, Victor. We trust you. It's, it's all the responsibility in your shoulders. So, five, twelve, five. Thing is, when when five runs, it's got the three hundred milliseconds against the run. But then it doesn't run back again. Okay, if you. Um, 
So Tom. 512 512 7 8 7 8 Wrong All right, let's solve it. You failed, right? That means that you probably didn't fully understand what we we'll explain today, but that's fine. This video is recorded, so please play with dev tools, right? That's, that's the important thing. I understand this is not trivial to grasp, but if you don't play with dev tools, you'll never understand how debugging works. So I think, I think, and uh, hopefully I'll be right. No, you can't, Victor. <laughs> Too many opportunities today. So it will be five. Uh, we think we mostly agree on that, right? No one said eight as the first line or anything like that. So we run five. Then it will ignore everything, right? It will ignore that because this is this is asynchronous. So it will jump straight away to line number twelve. And then second iteration. So it will do five again. It will ignore again the callback function. And then after three hundred milliseconds, it will jump land on line number seven. That's for sure. And then the tricky question is: on the first iteration, this will be truthy or falsy? Falsy, correct. So line number eight won't happen. But no problem, because we have another opportunity. Iteration number two, line seven again. And finally, on the last, in the very last iteration, count is equal to what? Two. So this will be truthy or falsy? Truthy, correct. That was the right answer. Why do I believe in myself? So Victor was very close. Actually, the first attempt, he did the first part right, and then I heard someone saying 778. That was the right uh, answer, yes, right? That's what I said. No, I said 778 at the end. Right? Yeah. Then if the 12 would come off the 5. Or the yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. Let's, let's, let's prove it, right? And see if I'm right. If we are right. <laughs> cool. Line number 5. Yeah, we agree on that. So the first one, tick. Next one. Line number 12. Correct. Tick. Then, iteration number 1, play it equals to John. To John. So we'll go to the second iteration. So line number five again. Correct. So you see that the callback function is just pending to be executed. It's, it's somewhere, right? It will happen shortly. But then, again, the same thing. So you will jump to line number 12 again. Correct. And now it's time to run the callback functions. Boom. Line number seven. What's the value of the count variable? One. Correct. Is one equals to two? No. So if I run, if I resume the script, it will stop again in the same line. Here you go. It's hard to see, but if I hover over, count equals to two. So now it should evaluate the done function. Correct? And that should be it. It is. It now runs the done method just once. Let's run it end to end without an interruption to prove that this is correct. Oops, wait a minute. Yep, uh, yep, yep. You see? Done happens once. Any question? Okay, please use the tools as much as possible. Add breakpoints, check the state of the variables. Before executing, do like that, add some breakpoints, and think about the execution order. That massively helps. Because if you understand that, if you understand that, it's, for you it's very easy to explain what the code does. If you don't understand that, it's impossible to explain it. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, there will be an example on the board today. <laughs> cool. You, <laughs> you've lost quite a lot of points, right? Extra points. Anyways, thank you, guys. That was it. <laughs>